A first of its kind vaccine manufacturing facility in Asia has broken ground here. When ready, the Sanofi facility will be able to produce multiple types of vaccines more efficiently and on a bigger scale. The $638 million plant is trumpeted as a key to meeting both Singapore and the region's healthcare needs against future pandemics. Chua Tian reports. This site in Tua South will be home to pharmaceutical giant Sanofi's first vaccine manufacturing plant in Singapore. Called an Evolutive Vaccine Facility or EVF, it consists of multiple docking stations located around the 30,000 square meters facility. Being modular will also allow it to respond more quickly to future pandemics. This facility here gives us the flexibility to be able to switch from one specific classical vaccine to a pandemic vaccine. We want to be able to produce both protein recombinant vaccines and the influenza could be one, but there are many others. When the facility is up and running in about four years' time, its cutting-edge setup means it will be able to produce up to four different types of vaccines at one go. Typical facilities now are only able to produce one vaccine at a time. Now, traditionally, liquids used in the manufacturing of vaccines are mixed in huge metal vats that's localized to a particular place in the factory. Sanofi wants to change that by using mobile agile mixers like these. Now, single-use bags are also used in the mixing process so that they can be thrown away, reducing the need for cleaning when the company decides to produce a new batch of vaccines. Speaking at the event, Deputy Prime Minister Heng Sui Kiat says locating vaccine production in Singapore will allow the country to push new frontiers in biomedical sciences and prepare for future health crises. The Omicron wave might have receded, but new variants of concern could still emerge. Disease X is not a matter of if, but when. By enhancing our capacity for manufacturing vaccines in Singapore, the region will be in a stronger position for dealing with future pandemics and the ensuing economic shocks. The Sanofi facility will also be fully digitalized and paperless. For one, sensors will be used to monitor the manufacturing process and alert workers to any anomalies. The new plant is targeted to be at full production by the end of 2025 and is set to create 200 jobs in areas such as biotechnology.